Brexit tensions persist over the Northern Ireland Protocol, but why has the European Union kicked up a stink now? The UK this week decided to unilaterally extend grace periods in Northern Ireland in a move designed to ease trade between Northern Ireland and Great Britain. This decision provoked fury in Brussels, prompting the bloc to threaten to take legal action against the UK. European Commission Vice President Maro Sefcovic labelled the move as a very negative surprise, while the Northern Ireland Secretary insists the actions are lawful and consistent. The European Parliament has now declined to set a date to ratify the Brexit trade deal in the latest move amid the growing tensions between Britain and the EU. The EU announced it is preparing to take infringement proceedings against the UK for its decision to unilaterally extend grace periods on post-Brexit customs checks in Northern Ireland. The bloc's chief negotiator Maro Sefcovic told the FT the EU would take these steps very soon. Mr. Sefcovic said, we are currently preparing it and it would be really something coming to our table very soon. The EU has signaled that it will seek to suspend parts of the Brexit trade deal in retaliation. The move came after the UK took unilateral action to extend grace periods for businesses until October. The UK this week extended this border grace period for parcels and for checks on agri-foods. The grace periods mean procedures and checks on these goods are not fully applied. The first of these grace periods was due to expire at the end of March, but this week the UK took the decision to unilaterally extend this period until October. All parcels entering Northern Ireland would have been required to make customs declarations from April 1, but the logistics industry warned it was ill-prepared for this change. In response to these concerns, the British government extended the grace period, in a move the EU has claimed was illegal. In protest, the European Parliament has now declined to set a date for its vote to ratify the EU-UK Brexit deal. EU Parliament Group Chiefs had been expected to set a date this month for its vote at a meeting on Thursday. An approving vote by the European Parliament is required for the full ratification of the Brexit trade deal. Brandon Lewis, the Northern Ireland Secretary, confirmed the measures were lawful and consistent with a progressive and good-faith implementation of the protocol.